The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. Good morning. Oh. How's everybody doing? All right. Thanks for coming. Okay, we have a new mic. This is awesome. Uh, we've got just a little bit of little bit of uh, business before we get started, um, but I, I would like to uh, extend a welcome to all of our members. And we have seven visitors today. So to the visitors coming out, thank you for coming. The format that we use for the meeting, we do a little bit of business up front, and then we turn it over to a speaker. And we do this um, every month during the year, except December, where we have a, a holiday luncheon. And then we, we take a break over the summer. Um, so we have these. We also have some seminars you'll hear about today, um, as well as some special interest groups. So welcome. OK, so a little bit of the business. Um, our previous meeting minutes from February are, are posted on the web. I mean, we do have a website. They're also uh, posted out in the, in the lobby. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. All right. Hearing none, we will consider those approved. Okay. Uh, Gloria Goodwin, our director of membership, has let me know that we do have quorum today. So once again, thanks for coming. I mean, we do have a special announcement. We'll talk about bring a friend in just a minute. But if you've done this or you were a friend and got a raffle ticket, um, stop by and see Gloria on your way out. Uh, she just needs to double check and, and make sure she's got you on the list. So if you were part of that, just stop on the way out and, uh, and let her know. Okay. So our treasurer was not able to make it today, but he did give me the numbers. So standing in for Travis, our receipts for the month of February were $2,938. Our dispute of $724, resulting in a positive cash flow of $2,214. Uh, our cash on deposit in the bank is $161,306. We've got some plans for that that we'll, uh, we'll be laying out. Uh, <laughs> any questions or, or comments? Excellent. Hearing none, we will file those for review. Was there something over here? OK. OK, so bring a friend. Um, this is a, a program that we've done in the past. We're doing it again this year. Um, and it's trying to, you know, one of the missions that we have is to, you know, get people interested in genealogy and, and um, you know, kind of transfer some of the love we have for this to others and help bring them into this uh, really, really fun and amazing uh, field. And one way we do this is if you do bring a guest, sign them in. They get a chance to uh, attend one of our seminars for free. So um, between now and May, so April and May, if you want to bring somebody, bring a friend, um, get them into a drawing for a, uh, a free seminar. So it's a good way to uh, maybe entice someone to come along and, and get them hooked like we all are. OK, let's see. Is a. Uh is Patty? Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> looking right past you. So I do, you know, we, we do, the this is a volunteer-powered organization, and the volunteers that we have are, are fantastic, and we're always looking for more, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but but uh, Lisa, Tony, Kathleen, and Patty did something really cool that I, I'd like Patty to, to just tell us a little bit about with Jack and Jill of America. Patty? Thank you, Todd. Well, on January the 27th this year, uh, we presented a children's program, a genealogical children's program right here up on the third floor. Jack and Jill of America uh, helps African American students. Um, they, they learn graces, they learn um, uh, leadership skills, and it is a great program. Well, they were very interested in helping their young people learn how to do family research. And uh, what we did was we had a program where we trained children how to start their lookup and how to start their family tree. Now, started off with 
uh, a few of the children that came in and a few of the parents, but as more and more people came, the excitement grew. We had 15 children and 17 parents, and then we had one parent that was uh, came in through Skype. They, they Skyped in, interviewed their parent. So part of the program was um, interviewing their mom or their dad that came with them. So it was an engagement opportunity for the mother or father and the child to be able to communicate with each other, ask questions about their family history, and also before the program, we asked the children if they would bring photographs of their grandparents and great-grandparents. So we had a little time where each one of the children got to stand up and show their photograph and tell the audience about their special memory of their grandparent. And it was just a fantastic program. It was two hours. The um, leader of the program, Gwen Scott, was so impressed with what we had done. She said, we want to do this with our adults, and we want to do this on a larger scale. They meet once a year, and they've already got their program ready uh, for this year, but they said next year we want to do this on a big scale where our annual conference is going to be genealogy. And uh, so they've invited us to come back, and we are going to need a lot of help from uh, those of you who enjoy lookups and helping others get started, because this is going to be something where we can uh, continue to develop our relationship and our partnership with Jack and Jill of America. I mean, this was, this was really, really great, not only for genealogy, but you know, trying to get some young folks involved and, and get kids interested in this, so that's, that's fantastic. So thank you once again. Okay, Kristen, we'll bring up our first VP, talk a little bit about our programs. I've been gone the past couple of months, and I have to say it's really good to be here and to see everybody. Okay, coming up at the end of this month, we have Michael Strauss, who's going to talk to you. He's a military expert. And if you haven't gotten, if you're on our mailing list, you should have received um, a flyer, a brochure like this. Uh, we're going to go up and get some extras out of the room. So we'll, if you don't have one of these that talks about in detail about the different topics that Michael's going to be covering, uh, we'll have one for you. But he's going to talk. We, we kind of did it in a chronological order. He'll talk about the Revolutionary War, the Mexican War, and uh, Reconstruction area, Era, and then also he um, is going to talk to us about how to research in Washington, D.C., because I've been there and it's a little bit daunting when you go the first time, so it's nice to have some guidance on that. So that's on March 31st. I will say that uh, online registration is open and it's a discount. You get an early bird registration discount and that ends a week from tomorrow. So please, if you're planning on coming, save a little money and register early and uh, you have an option to order lunch. And these are the other two seminars we have this year. We have Mark Lowe, who will be with us on August 4th, talking about your southern roots. And then David Rencher, who's the chief genealogist of Family Search, will be with us in September to talk about, he's a certified Irish researcher. So, Three of the topics will be on Irish topics. I'm already into 2019. <laughs> so if you have your 2019 calendars out, you can save the date. Um, I do have the speaker's name for April 6th, but I don't have a signed agreement yet. So, But he's been here before. He's very popular, and you will want to save that date. Uh, I did get the signed agreement yesterday from Judy Russell who's the legal genealogist. She's also been here before and is very popular. And I've got, I'm working with somebody for the fall seminar. We have to work on the dates, work around school kids and other things that go on, but uh, we'll be letting you know about that. Um, I was also gonna mention, we, there's a handout out here that lists the general meetings and uh, the seminar series as well as the awards lunch. And if you're interested in special interest groups, we have a list on the back of here. There are a couple of them that have the locations wrong, but we'll, I'll have an updated version of this in the syllabus 
that we'll hand out at the spring event, and we'll get the website corrected on that. Um, and I think that's all. Thank you. Oh, it's not all. <laughs> As Todd said, we can't do things without volunteers. And to put on a seminar, a full day seminar, we need people to help work registration. We need, if the parking system is back in by then, we'll need help with parking tickets. We'll have to see about that. Door prizes, we have a door prize table, and I'm working on the door prizes. We're gonna have some, some the same, some different this time. Um, but we will be putting out the volunteer sign-up form tomorrow or Monday, and as an extra incentive, we do invite our volunteers to join us at your own expense for dinner with the speaker on Saturday night following the seminar. So please consider volunteering because we cannot do it without you. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, speaking of... Uh, <laughs> We, we do have a few open positions. I've mentioned these uh, in the last few meetings. Um, if you're interested in, in helping with Pegasus, um, we, uh, there, there's a lot of detail. If you got the last newsletter, it had a nice list of, of what that position requires. You would build a committee to, to do all that work. Um, that's a, an important piece of, of the society is, is getting you know, our publication out there. It takes a lot of work. Um, and so we, we, uh, we are looking for somebody to help spearhead that effort. Uh, we do need publicity and, and public relations as well. So if you're interested in that, interested in, in social media and, and reaching out to news outlets, um, writing a little bit, uh, let us know. We'd love to, we'd love to hear uh, from you and, and get you plugged in there. Uh, we do also have hospitality open. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we sort of rotate around the board to, to bring in a little coffee and some snacks, but uh, if you're interested in, in helping out in hospitality, there's, there's two things you can do right now. One, you can volunteer just to help out on a one-off basis. I'll show you the website here in a minute where you can go sign up. Or if you're interested in, in running it uh, as, a, as, a, you know, as a committee, uh, let us know. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, uh, we do it during the monthly meetings, and we, we have hospitality during our, our seminars. So um, we'd love to have somebody, uh, somebody pick that up. Anybody want to just raise their hand right now for any of these? But if you do have questions, uh, please please stop by and, and let me know. Okay, so uh, we just mentioned some of the special interest groups. This is a uh, the the March April uh, slate of of meetings. Um, these are on the website. We'll, apparently, we'll get the the room updated on the one that, that's wrong. But this is what's coming up in March in the first part of April. And in our uh, in April, we're we're a little bit further out. We're going to be on April fourteenth. Uh, Linnell Moss is going to be talking about Family Search, Family Tree, uh, Your Tree, My Tree, Our Tree. So, looking forward to to that uh, session in April. And Patty, I keep missing. If you want to come on up and introduce our speaker for today. This has been a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the Membership tab.